Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ian is Bored. So, I'm going to be doing more foreign food testing. All this freaking food from you guys. Stuff from the UK, Iceland. This is Northern Europe in general. Finland, Sweden, Norway, Poland, Germany. I know it's not Europe, but just a special guest. Australia and Canada. And I'm going to finish off the show trying these ketchup chips. Ketchup? Really, Canada? So let's get to eating. Oh yeah, and like always, I'll be rating these foods on a scale of one to 10. Most of these are probably gonna be around two to three. All right, this one's from the UK, Ireland specifically, club milk. And of course, since it was in our garage, it is melted. Here we go. Five out of 10. All right, now we're gonna try these gummies. How can you go wrong with gummies? Fruity fun burgers. Mm. Eight out of 10. Jelly love hearts. Uh, yeah, not very good. Five out of ten? All right, screw these other gummies. I got more important crap to get to. Iceland candy. I thought that land was just full of ice, not full of candy. Hlapukar. All right, so they're like candies. I don't, I don't even know if you're supposed to chew them or what. I think you're supposed to chew them, but they're not very chewy. Pretty good, though. Six out of ten. Okay, seriously, I've been chewing this thing for like an hour. Hmm? But, yeah, I'm gonna give us to Anthony and he'll never know. <laughs> now for the purple dinosaur candy. All right, there's four different colored dinosaurs, but in the interest of time, I'm just gonna eat them all right now. Iceland should not make candy. Uh, no, three out of 10. On to the Northern European behemoth of crappy food. These are apparently chocolate-filled mint candies. Here we go. Yeah, 7.5 out of 10. Actually, no, 8 out of 10. This appears to be some kind of chocolate bar that has a sweet, happy blue cow on it. You know it's gotta be good. Yeah. This might be expired chocolate. Cause that stuff's been sitting in my cabinet for quite a while. Four out of 10. <laughs> Sukulaku. I think it's licorice with like chocolate on the inside. I can't, what? I really can't make any sense of what this is. It's like uh, brown sugar on the inside. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it's not very good. Five out of 10. I, I, I what? How, how do you pronounce this? Kvik lunch. It seems like you're missing some vowels in there. I feel like I'm looking at an incomplete Wheel of Fortune. Seriously, what the f Looks kind of like a Kit Kat. Um, yeah, it's just a Kit Kat with a really weird ass name. Da capo. There's been a lot of chocolate this episode, which I don't really have a problem with, unless it's bad. And this one, uh, not good. Why can't these people just make normal chocolate? Did I rate that one? I don't think I did. Four out of six. Ugh. Oh yeah, you know the candy's gonna be good when it's in a freaking black bag. Hey, this is good, just gonna be terrible. Ah! Zero out of ten. Now, when I made the last born food test, people caught this in the, the background. They're like, oh my god, Beeler, Beeler, whatever the heck. I'm guessing that it's supposed to be good. Here we go. Really? People like this stuff? Because it doesn't really taste like anything at all. Four out of ten. Swedish berries! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, tastes just like a Swedish fish, which is freaking delish. Eight out of ten. And something tells me this will be exactly like that other thing. All right, I was right. It is just like the other thing, but worse. Two out of 10. Ugh. That's a pretty awesome name for a candy. Hmm, it's delightful. I have no idea what is inside it. Not bad, seven out of 10. Oh, that's peanuts. Jim. Oh, great name. I think I'm gonna name my candy Bob. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. It's another thing disguised in chocolate. Ugh. It's white stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of sweet. You just flashed, that's what she said. Five out of 10. Orange beer. All right, here we go. Om freaking nom, nine out of 10. Another thing with the name Smash, they melted and then when it hardened, it just turned it into a big ass ball. Should I try it anyway? Yeah. It just feels really gross eating it from one big blob. Three out of 10. Bread. 
That's like the sound I make when I'm barfing, which I probably will do today. Bridge. It's all right. It doesn't make me want to bridge. Four out of ten. And I don't know what this is because it's covered by a note that says, "Do not eat the black ones." So I'm gonna eat the black ones. Oh god, more licorice. I weren't kidding about not eating the black ones. These are dots. Ooh, it has a chocolate center. Fuck yeah. It's like an Oreo with a chocolate filling. 9.5 out of a motherfucking 10. That might be the highest score I've given. All right, now we are finally done with Northern Europe. Thank goodness. The little candies from Poland. All right, I'm trying the blackberry one, which doesn't really look that black. All right. Oh, you have to suck on it. Dang it, Ian, editing this. Did you throw another that's what she said on there? I freaking hate that guy. It's, this stuff's okay. Five out of ten. Now in Germany with Topifi. I like how that sounds. Topifi. What in the world? Oh, it's like caramel chocolate and nut, but not very good. Yeah. Four out of ten. All right, now on to the Aussies. All right, these are just sour gummy worms, so where could they go wrong? Well, they could go wrong in the taste department because there is none. Three out of ten. Oh, what a coincidence, putting koalas on an Australian food. Oh, wait a second. This isn't Australian. This doesn't belong in this episode. Mwah! You wait for me to do another Asian food test. Now onto the Canadians. Ultimate maple leaf. All right. Mmm, smells like maple syrup but they shouldn't have turned it into a cookie. Five out of 10. And now, the moment that uh, probably a couple of you've been waiting for, but most of you probably don't really give a shit. The ketchup potato chips. But I'm gonna need someone to help me eat these ketchup chips. So Anthony. Yeah? Can you, have, been, have you been sitting here the whole time? Yeah. Uh, anyway. Would you mind helping me with these ketchup chips? Ketchup chips? Ketchup chips. Who the hell sent us this crap? Some ridiculous Canadian. Ketchup chip me. Thank you, thank you, that's that's plenty. You ready? And go! It was like good for a second, and then the ketchup hit my tongue, and it was really bad. Doesn't even oh. taste like ketchup. Like, it tastes like really old expired ketchup or something. Yeah. So what would your rating be? One out of ten? Yeah. I'll give it a one out of ten. Thousand? <laughs> well, that's it for the food tasting this week. I'm sure I will do another food tasting in a little bit because look at all that Asian food goodness. Spicy potato chips. Oh, well, we'll just have to see, won't we? <laughs> Leave me more suggestions for Ian's board down below. We'll see you later, bitch. It's mail time with Smash. Oh, cool. Here you go, Ian. You got a picture of Fabio. Oh, no, no, no.